This is a 5K 27 inches display targeted at content creators, but that doesn't mean that if you want to play some games, you can't. We will be able to play without any issues. It has an anti-glare layer, brightness sensor, an ergonomic and adjustable stand, and an option to mount it on the wall. And besides the 5K resolution, what I love the most is the built-in KVM, which means that if I want to use two computers at the same time and only one keyboard, one mouse and other peripherals, I will be able to change from one computer to the other with one single click on the display without needing any extra KVM. This is the Asus Pro Art 27 GCV and it's available on the US for about $799, which makes it the budget solution for 5K resolution. Unfortunately, in Europe, which is where I live, it's still not available, but my hopes are very high so that we can get this display below the 1000 euros mark, which will make it the cheaper 5K display available at this moment, because the competition is about 1500 to 2000 euros which is a lot i will leave links down below with price and availability just in case you want to check that out now this is perfect for mac os users because the mac os system as you know it's optimized for retina displays delivering a sharper image than a 4k monitor ideally i tend to use both operating systems windows 11 and mac os sometimes linux as well and with the kvm switch this is awesome although we have seen here a lot of docking stations in kvms having this option built in on a display is just a huge thumbs up and if you are watching this video on your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper resolution is 5120 by 2880 with a refresh rate of 60 hertz it has a lux pixel panel which is a anti-reflective layer providing a paper-like effect to reduce glare in bright environments and we can see that special when comparing with glossy panels. It has HDR with excellent colors and contrast from all angles that I did test out and I wasn't expecting any less from this panel. So it's targeted at content creators because of its refresh rate of 60 hertz and it's great for that. We have a really nice timeline to work with at 5k but in my opinion if we want to play some games we will be able to do so and the choice in my opinion once again would be simple. If 80% of my time or 70% it's spent in video editing or photo editing or any other tool for content creation then I would say that I would get the 5k with 60 hertz because I will spend 30% or 20% of my time doing everything else, including gaming. And yes, we can still play at 60 Hz, although the experience is great when we have higher refresh rates and GPUs that are capable of achieving those refresh rates and those frames per second. But on the other hand, if you spend 70 or 80% of your time playing high demanding games and you have all the hardware and only 20% of your time editing and watching multimedia and so on, then probably this would not be my first choice. So the stand and the display will not take much space. Actually, it's one of the slimmest that I've seen. The stand, as usual, will take a bit more than the display, but it's really minimal. Actually, the style is minimalistic according to other devices that we have seen from Pro art which will blend in on the environment that it has. It's easy to assemble, we just need to attach the arm to the monitor and then screw in the base and that is it. If preferred we can mount it on a wall with the FESA mount. In terms of ports it has one HDMI 2.1, one display port 1.4, one USB type C and one audio output but it also has the KVM or hub which also has three USB type A ports and one USB type C which means that everything that we will connect on these USB ports will be taken to the computers that are connected. So once I press a button here on the display it will change to the computer that I selected. In my particular case I was using a Windows laptop and a Mac OS Mac mini with the M4 
Pro chip and all the peripherals that we have connected here will go from one computer to the other according to the selection that we made. And this is nothing new to us because we have seen a lot of KVMs here on the channel and also we have seen a lot of docking stations with KVM function. Now having in mind that if we are using the KVM for storage which we can connect an SSD for example here and then it will swap to one of the computers that we are using the speeds that we will get at maximum will be 5 gigabit. At the front right side it has a joystick and then several buttons which will be used to navigate on the menu which is really really simple and the only downside that I've seen here has to do with cable management so as we can see it has this hole here so that we can pass the cables but I'm not really sure if this is the best option if I want to use the display in such a height now if I use it at minimum like this then it will be just fine but once we put it like this then we will have cables here and probably cables here or if they're not here they will be here so my suggestion is if you really need to use the display like this we will need to to tie the cables here at the back so that we can use it without going to the back and then just straight below but for me I would say that the best is as long as we reach the hole we will be fine this one is not fine this is a user mistake I did place in the cable from the Mac mini USB type C without passing this hole here so no miracles and it will go down like this foolish of me so let's put it down and like this we almost don't see it now in my opinion this is a really interesting choice especially in the 5k market where the competition is a lot more expensive so I'm really happy to see this option from Asus Pro Art, which is a design that I really enjoy. We have reviewed a few parts here from Pro Art lineup, a few computers, and they all share this minimalistic style. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.